Hello again and welcome back to Wingot Plays Nomi Factory. I have started to get a bit of a command center going within our main corridor here and I have between episodes set up all processing very much inspired by three folds design but effectively at this point we can output whatever all we want and it will automatically get processed. I in the big reason why I got that set up was because I went and set up our micro miners. So up here we've got the uh, small micro vest projector and we've got over here patterns that allow us to request that the micro miners is upside down. Uh, just go, we'll leave it for now. Just because we've got these set up. Like I'm gonna tier one, points down here. Yeah, okay, these were the wrong way around. Not that it actually matters. But yes, so at this point we can basically request a microminer tier one mission, for example, to go. And it will craft everything it needs to. And then output the quantum flux and such into our small projector here which has already run and then it has dumped the outputs into yeah so we've got this filtered so that any of the uh, outputs that we actually want from it go into this crate and then go into our ME interface there. It doesn't need the crate, it could just go straight into the ME interface, but that was while I was setting it up really. And then over here, uh, over here in the trash can, we've got a list of the things that we actually don't want. So the Galena, the Redstone, the Castorite, the Dense Iron Ore come from that tier one mission, and we're basically just destroying them immediately. And then everything else goes to be processed. This crate is for basically anything that doesn't have a a destination elsewhere and so if there is something that I haven't yet configured it will show up there in that crate. The Uranon Knight I've not yet decided what I want to do with it but if we pop in here we'll see that well, we should see did it actually run? Yeah, okay, oh, here we go. So the root hole or the nickel ore is being processed at the moment. And there you go, root hole, nickel, yeah, cool. And then those are going out here to some drawers for the output. Perfect. And if we pop in here, I have finally gotten Lumium and signal Signalum automated. The difficulty so lumium it just requires it's stopped because it requires more phosphoric acid and it's just um, basically lagging on making enough of that and the signalum I wouldn't have thought should have stopped but it looks like it oh it's just full here so what are, what's going on here Oh, this is running. Okay, it is slowly building up. And over here, yttrium barium cuprate, which we made in the last episode. I've been running through the blast furnace, and you can see it's actually stopped because it's got 512, which is what I told it to do. I also over here set up microversium, which is just energetic blend, steel lingot, and some deuterium. And I automated the production of quantum flux. Otherwise, pretty much nothing has changed between episodes other than I've managed to obtain some resources. But what we want to do is we want to get started on a nuclear craft. And nuclear craft builds are basically big enough that I'm not really going to have anywhere to store them in the ISS build here. Or the... Um, Wingana, Wingot National Space Station, as I have called it elsewhere. So, what we are going to do, 
the now over here I was never actually going to move this oil rig it's too big so I was just going to leave that here the uh, what's this called again? The cryogenic distillation tower. Again, I was going to leave here in the void world. And so anything that's particularly large and wouldn't really fit into the WSS up in the sky there, I'll just leave here in the in the void world and then it will it will automatically input into the applied logistics system. But in order to in order to progress, let's take a look what we need to do. So, nuclear craft platings, we need to make advanced platings. So, advanced platings, hard carbon alloys, just diamond and graphite, I've already got that being made. Yttrium barium cuprate plates, well, I've already got the yttrium barium cuprate. And then basic plating is just tough alloy tungsten plates and steel heavy plating. Steel heavy plating we're already making for one of the micro miners. I think, yeah, for the basic microminer guidance system. And then the tough alloy is just lithium and ferroboron, ferroboron being steel and boron. So I've basically automated those processes. I've got borax making boron. So we probably can actually just tell it to make us some advanced plating and everything will just be available. Perfect. And then it's gonna have to craft some steel plates and some steel heavy plating, and then it will be able to do the rest. There we go, good. So, advanced plating. Very nice. Now, the next step, we're going to have to make a fission. And this looks like it's pro... Ooh, actually. Is making a three by three? Yeah, okay. Anyway, so, Let's work on making that. Now, the fission controller, I have actually already made one of those. The, it's not actually all that difficult of a recipe. Everything that's involved for it, I think I had to automate the tungsten steel frames and the poles. I don't even see them either because there's three available. Yeah, the tungsten seal rods. So I had to automate those two. But otherwise, yeah, everything needed for the fission controller we already had in the system. So, perfect, we've got a fission controller. Let's put this advanced plating back. And then, what else do we need? We need reactor cells. In fact, what I probably should do is, we can probably do most of it from here, I think. Unless we need to interface with the, like, the, the arrays. But reinforced glass, tough, tough alloy. Reinforced glass, I don't know if we've taught the system how to make. So, reinforced glass, advanced alloy plate and glass dust, or glass and advanced alloy plate. Okay, we'll go with that one. And then advanced alloy plate is new. That's a compressor recipe. So, compressor is easy. Except there's no space. I think I probably just need to get rid of one of these that doesn't get used anymore. Wall iron plate. Let's try that one. Oh, I actually screwed that recipe up because what I need is I need to actually do 16 because the array is basically built to only handle at least four at a time. Wall iron plate gets used to make MV machine holes. Well, we don't need to make those anymore. Furnace generator, well, we can make that manually when we need to. LV, primitive processes, LV machine, wrought iron, unrouted transport type. We can sort that out later when we need to. Infinite water, mm. well, we don't need to make infinite water sources at the moment. Fuel catalyzers. Yeah, for now, I think we're just going to ditch this wrought iron plate. Perfect. Now, mixed metal ingots, tin, bronze, iron. T iron and tin are very easy. And then the question is just whether bronze is gonna be 
uh, alloy. What was it called? Mixed metal. Okay, I want you to make a hundred of that. Okay, so we'd have to actually craft bronze to do that. Fine. Good, then that will do. Now, this is an alloy recipe. And for alloy recipes, we need to basically make four of them so that we... can go here and put one each into these interfaces because for alloys you need to put in multiple things instead of, a, instead of just the one so I built that one up a bit separately uh, while I'm here we may as well get the rest of what we need to make ready and let's tell that to make those fuel reactor cells Good, so make 10 of those. Perfect, good. Advanced alloy plates, okay, yeah, fine. Uh, 10, boom, good. Now we need lapis cooler. Empty cooler, lapis dust, okay, give me that. Empty cooler is just tough alloy and steel, good. You both of nope, so that's that. You are a canning machine recipe. I do not have a canning machine at all. Oops, so let's make a canning machine. Okay, you not your assembler. Good now, canning machine. Make one of those. Good now, while we wait on that, glowstone cooler will also be a canning machine recipe, I assume. Close and cooler. Yep, cool. So that can go there. Empty cooler. So I've got everything we need there. Block of graphite. Perfect. We've got the graphite ingots already, so that's just a molecular assembly recipe. We need four of those. Oh, there we go, canning machine's ready. Graphite. Oh, we've already got blocks of graphite, fine. And we need fission reactor casings, okay. So, there. Uh, robust tungsten seal machine casing, I believe I've actually taught it to make that because that was required for the fission controller, yeah. Uh, and that's a pretty simple recipe, it's just tungsten steel plates, tungsten steel frames. So yeah, that's the one that I needed the frame for. Fission reactor casing. Cool, now, 60. Good, craft that. Perfect, now while that's working away, let's go see what we can do about getting this canning machine online. I don't know where I want to put it, actually. So what I could do, I could actually just put it here for now, and then it can be fed. It, it's a interface. I pretty much need to rework the on-demand portion of the base because effectively the on-demand portion of the base doesn't exist at the moment. Because most, well, these arrays are the only on-demand portion but yeah I need somewhere that I can put basically these sorts of uh, random machines now what I do want to do is I want to tell this that it can input and output from the same side output from there input from that side as well good and give me the interface perfect now this both of those recipes this auto outputs to that side and so then we should actually be able to just request the coolers and it looks like that's working
good. And then we can request ten glowstone coolness as well. Perfect. Good. And then, oh, we only needed four. That's fine. And then we just need the fission reactor ca casings, which have been finished. Perfect. So that should be everything we need there. Um, perfect. We'll put that away and we'll go create this fission reactor that it's suggesting that we make. So let's pop over to here and on, honestly we need some space. For now we'll put it over here. This is not going to be the first nor the last reactor that I have to make. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, good. Did I just say this isn't going to be the first reactor that I have to make? Because it is the first reactor I have to make in Nomi Factory. But it's definitely not the last that I'm going to have to make. Perfect. Now. Three by, oh, three by three cube. Okay, my mistake. Let's change this into three by three mode. to single block because otherwise I will destroy things later pretty much every single time I do Cells in all eight corners. Yep, cool. Here's jump assist on. Yeah, turn that off. That, oh my god, I can't believe how long I've had that on. Every time I hit the slightest bump in space, I get shooting up and slowly fall. Um, lapis coolers between them, four on the top layer and four on the bottom layer. Okay, easy. Oops. Good, and then the graphites will go in the corners. Uh, I'm pretty sure that'll be right. Place the four graphites in the corners and the four close stones between the lapis. Yep. Or is it six? No, it's four. On the sides, they took both lapis coolers. Now the cube should be full except for an empty column in the middle. The reactor will now be complete when you reseal. Okay, perfect. So now we just need to put these down. And then we just need a controller there yeah. good 1480 heat per tick the lever is placed on the reactor as a redstone signal is required for it to start yep yeah, okay fine give me a lever there yeah. yay um reactors can overheat so you can make a safety loop yeah yep yeah, yeah. good now we are going to need some fuel so climbing the ladder of fissile materials will require some specific raw materials and machinery. Uranium-238 is an important fissile material and can be attained from ores. Of uranium-238 ingots or dust could need to be processed into thermal centrifuge into clumps required for enriched fuels. Uranium-235 dust is a byproduct of processing uraninite ore. Okay. 
so that's actually a use for that you're in that so I'm glad that I didn't actually destroy it yet. Uh, thermal centrifuges are very slow machines so you should parallelize this processing as much as possible using the highest tier ones you can afford. Okay, so let us see what we can do about energy conjure. You yeah. um, I'm on a CEF a 16 and then we're going to need install cables and then I need thermal sim that's what it was called wasn't it yeah okay cool I need to teach the system to make thermal centrifuges also I have just gotten some new speakers and whenever I use that teleport function with like the ender sword, I'm hearing it being reasonably bassy. So if it is coming through more so than normal, feel free to let me know. But uh, that is why it's because I've actually got some new speakers instead of the old Kmart speakers that I was using pretty much ever since I moved across the country. And yeah, these are just some, ni some nicer Logitech. Uh, what are they called? Z Z407 model speakers and it, yeah seem to be a substantial improvement but as I say they do seem to be a bit, a bit more noisy meanwhile so let us pop over here we want we will put the CEF here the CEF will then feed let's go up here one two three four so that will allow us to get 16 advanced thermal centrifuges around the side. Now we just need to run a energy cable. Oh, let's take a quick look. This is an unchunk loaded chunk that I'm about to go into. So let's instead just run along the top here. It doesn't have to be pretty for the time being. And frankly, this is the void world where we aren't even living anymore. So function is by far the more important of the possible features. I do find it interesting that there doesn't seem. Let's do that. Let's go through that column. Perfect. So, good. Our thermal centrifuges are starting to complete and I will actually just grab a capacitor and put that in here. Good, so we can at least start with four of these here. So how about they can go there. Now what we need, I think, let's grab a crate for now. Uh, here with a item laser let's make like 40 of those go and that means we need an interface there yeah because this will allow me to change that setup easily without having to pull all of this down Give me the lasers, that's plenty, and then thermal centrifuge. Good. Good. Now we want to put lasers on the actual interface and then. to all of these. Good, and then the last one should be very close. I 
Good. So we want our laser wrench so that we can connect to these. And then we can just run that across the top. Oops, I don't want that. I want that to there. Yep, good. Perfect. Now what we want is an item conduit. That we can just put here to insert from here. Good. Now, what do we need? We need to put in you ran in the night. Let's test this out. Okay. You ran in the night or so you're in the night or in a can't be run through you're in the night dust. No, okay. So we need to pulverize it to crushed and then thermal centrifuge it to get tiny piles of 238. And, and uranium 235. Hmm. In a thermal centrifuge into clumps Uranium-238 ingots or dusts. Okay, let's go with that. Uranium-238. Let's look at both of these. Uranium-238 dust can be thermal centrifuged to get uranium-238. Okay, uranium-238 or would have to be pulverized and then centrifuged and then pulverized again. Okay, so we might run our uranium through the normal. Why is there a zombie? Hey buddy. We might run our uranium through the uranium ore through the normal process and then we'll run the uranium dust through this. So let us give this a try. Uranium dust is going into these. Yeah, that's very slow. And unfortunately, I don't think... I've not yet figured out a way to get the laser to round robin. So that could be a reason to actually do this with conduits. But there we go, that's producing uranium-238. But And then we can use the item conduits to pull it back out. Good. Uh, you extract on black. just a crate for now. Insert on black. Good. So we're getting uranium-238 isotope. And then we need uranium-235. Which we get thermal centrifuge from LEU fuel Uranium-235 dust. So 
that I have? Uranium-235? Yes, I have, some, I have some here. There you go. I'm actually going to see if there is a way... Uh, I'll, I'll figure out later on if there's a way to get the item lasers to round robin because that would be very nice if if it's possible but for now we'll just sort of manually throw these in here come on oh my gosh perfect Oh, those were inside of the rubber trees there. Interesting. Oh, I, I guess I was only wearing the... Um, like the space suit. Not any actual armour. Good. Now, let's get rid of that waypoint. Perfect. Can you get rid of that? Okay, we'll put this uranium back and I'll look what I can do about pro actually let me grab that uranite and I'll figure out what I can do about processing that in just a moment but for the time being we have uranium 238 we have uranium 235 good now we want to make thorium TBU depleted Heli U-235. Uranium-235, Uranium-238. Fine, let's make this. Oh. There we go. There we go. We'll do four for now. Show me the Uranium. Okay, can you that back? And that can go into there. Cool. And then let's take a look at running that in here. And we've got negative 13 heat per tick. So if we turn that on, what's it producing? It's producing 11,000 RF, which is not all that impressive, but it primarily is actually um, producing the isotopes is the main thing. So in the fission reactor, we'll get depleted fuel, which can then be turned into all of these different isotopes, neptunium, pl plutonium, and uranium-238. But we might as well use the power. So energy conduit here. If we're generating this power anyway, we might as well use it. Good. It is still storing more and more power. So let's have a look downstairs what we've got in regards to power generation. I think power demand is going down at the moment. Oh. But because that should extract power. Yeah, it is. It's extracting power. This is just producing power. Arguably faster than when using it, but that's also because these don't throttle down immediately. Yeah, like they're throttling down because there's 11,000 power coming from up here. Or at least that's my interpretation of what is going on. So, very nice. We will have to make a bigger fission reactor though, because this current one is very much nothing special. What's this going to use? A bit of tungsten, a bit of steel, a bit of tungsten steel, and a bit of tough alloy. Okay, what if... Wow, we've almost got enough that we could actually make a thousand of these. Let's do 400 for now, though. Good. Uh, the fission reactor casings, and then we'll need a whole lot of, like, reactor rods. 
reactor cells. So yeah, we're gonna be short on tough alloys. But for now, let's tell it to make like 150. There we go. And then I'll see what I can do about a bigger design that will allow us to basically process fuel a lot faster and also produce a whole lot of extra energy in the process. But for the time being, thank you for watching. Stay happy and healthy, and I hope to see you in the next one.